Hello everyone, I'm out with my son today. We are doing a little day camp. Got the hammock set up and I got a little tarp here just in case it starts raining. It's supposed to rain around noon. And we're going to be cooking up some breakfast today using the M52 French mess kit. Also um, attached to my Czech bread bag here, I've got the M1952 French canteen with the stove in the bottom. Might try to make a little coffee with that. Then over here on the tree, I brought my, I think that's the F2 French rucksack, I believe it is. If it's not, it's either F1 or F2. I think F2 is this one because it's got the side pockets on it. So we're going to Get out the wood stove and start making up a little bit of breakfast.
making some scrambled eggs with some sausage in it to put on some um, tortillas for like breakfast burritos. And this should be enough for me and my son. The fire's a little hot for eggs, so we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. Don't let them get too hot. Add a little pepper while we can before it gets too. There we go. Now we need to pick that back up because it is way, way too hot. We'll cook those eggs too fast and it'll get stuck. Going down a little bit, let's put it back on there. It's really, really hot out here today. You might hear me breathing a little heavy. It's because it is very humid. It rained last night for several hours. Everything's wet and damp. This is just about done. I'll be able to put some. Alrighty, we're all done here with our mixture. Let's kind of leave that there. And we're going to Let's see if I can get this all on film. We're going to use the the plate part of the M1954 kit. And then my son's bowl. And we've got some tortillas. They can lay, lay it down there like that, something like that. <coughs> and then take some of this stuff and spoon it in there. Be like our own little breakfast burritos. Tell you this little spatula for doing this stuff here is in mess kits is perfect. This is the what is this thing? The GS GSI spatula. Oh, I keep dropping food today. That's not good. There we go. Kind of lay it in there like that. We'll set the rest up there for seconds. And I brought some four cheese Mexican cheese blend. I'll put a nice helping of that on top of those hot eggs. You can see the steam coming off of them. Just a little bit more sausage stuff on mine, right there in the front. Okay, then for mine, my son doesn't like this, but I'll put some McDonald's picante sauce on it. Which is what they use on their breakfast burritos anyways. Set that there. 
And we're just going to roll this baby up like this and eat it. It's going to be good. And you can't get any better view than out here in the woods cooking here. And beautiful views of Florida pine woods. It's a hot but beautiful day. There we have it. We may cook up a little more. I brought some stuff for grits. We'll see if we get that done or not. All right, so we're going to try to make some grits here using the other pan of the 19, M1954 French mess kit. So I found that uh, if I fill this up to about right here, that's about a cup. I need two cups of water. So we're going to use the, the French mess kit here to I don't want to get any dirt that's on the bottom of this this pouch. I'm not sure we're going to get into any coffee today. It's so hot. There's one cup about. That's about two cups there. I hope that this will all fit in there. Put this up on here. There we go. So now we're going to get this water up to a boil and add our half a cup of grits in there. Hopefully, it won't overflow. We'll see what happens. Okay, so off camera, I have added some salt and pepper to it, and we got half a cup of grits here. <clears throat> we'll add to it, and hopefully it will hold it all without boiling over. Won't be close. Fire's a little hot, but these little twig stoves, they're, they're either hot or they're not. <laughs> There's nothing in between, it seems like. Those twigs burn up pretty quick. So we'll let that kind of go here for a little bit. If it starts to boil over, I'll take it off. I'll just grab it, take it off with my glove here. And then we're going to add some cheese to it. Alrighty. Looking pretty good. Let's add just a little bit of salt to it. I tasted it a bit ago and it was uh, a little bit bland. Add some more pepper. And then some more of this Oops. Four cheese Mexican cheese here. We'll put some of that in there and stir it in, and it will be ready. We've got plenty of cheese, so let's make it extra cheesy. Way, way yonder too much cheese, but let's stir this in. These little French kits, I forgot how nice they were. I, I have two of them. This one, the M1952, and I have one from the 30s. I've done videos on both of them. The old um, aluminum one. It, uh, the, the one from the 30s has Israeli markings on it, so Pretty sure it was surplus in the French army. 
and they sold it to the Israelis, which they put their marking on it too. But these are really nice kits. I forgot how nice they are. That's a nice canteen too. It's a little over a quart. I'll see if I can dig it out and show you some more on it. It's a little hot for coffee, but I may just do something with it for funsies. So let me get this stuff served up here. Some grits for my son. Some there we go. Good morning, everybody. We're back at my house now. Right after that last shot with the grits, <clears throat> a storm rolled up and man, did it did the skies open. It was a little bit early <laughs> than predicted. So we had to pack up and get out of there real quick because the lightning was getting out there, you know, getting bad and and it, it, we got wet on the way back to the truck. So I, as promised, I was going to, I, I brought this stuff out here to show you making coffee with it. This is the uh, French M52 kit and it's got a more modern cover though. Than the original and uh, we'll get to making some coffee this morning so let's undo this you get this nice full aluminum canteen with Bakelite cup it's kind of a wide neck and here is the the French army canteen cup it's all aluminum including the handles I apologize for all the traffic out there. I'm, I live on a busy road, but there's the French Army Canteen Cup and the um, I forget the name of this lid, but Dave, the Dave Canterbury lid does fit on this. And inside here is something that's kind of different. And that's the French Army canteen stove. It's, uh, if you can see that, but this is a 1987 stove, so it's not been around as long as the, uh, the canteen and cup set has, but it's got these two little arms you flip up here and they lock into place. And you can use an ESPIT tablet. And you can see I got a piece of aluminum foil in there I, I use to just preserve the looks of this this uh, canteen cup stove. We're going to put that right here. And we're going to use some expedition fuel. See if we can get us a uh, a little cup of joe this morning here in the driveway. Got my 50s Boy Scout knife. One thing I like about these versus Espit tablets is this hard plastic cover here it really keeps the it really keeps the espit tablet sealed so you don't have that that smell in your pack of these things they smell like kind of like fish I guess and put that right there and set these fuel tablets away all right so let's get started here first I want to Scrape a little bit of this coating off here on the corner. Helps to get this thing lit a little bit. Let's set it right there. And then we're going to take our cup here. Put us a couple cups of water in there. Oops, I spilled some. There we go. That ought to do it. And we'll go ahead and... I do all this in the beginning to get everything prepped because the tablet only burns for nine minutes. So we've got to get all... You light it and then start messing with this other stuff. Um, you'll probably run out of tablet 
I do have more tablets, but just trying to be efficient, you know. Okay, so that's about three teaspoons in there. Throw this stuff to the side. Bring this back, put our lid on here. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more water. Get more than a couple cups. Bring them up there a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> and we're going to take our little stove here. Lighter has got a big flame and the wind is blowing it back on me. Let's go this way. Alright, it's lit. So you can see that the, the cube is lit. We're going to put this up on here. And set our lid on there and we're going to keep a very close eye on it because we don't want that to boil over. Okay, so let's check it here. I'm, I'm starting to run out of tablet. So it's steaming a little bit, but it's not not even brewing yet. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and add another tablet here. And if you get one of these French canteen cups, these handles are aluminum and they do get hot very quickly. You can see how much of the tablet we have left there. I'm just going to throw that in there. And let the other one catch. And that should take us on through to finishing this coffee. All right, as you can see here, I uh, I put a windshield around this because this stove is not very efficient. It's not like the uh, Espit stove that that uh, opens like this and directs heat up onto the bottom of the cup this one is totally open all the way around and it's just taking a longer time sitting out here in the open with the wind blowing we're starting to get some steam there it's getting close we just need to i don't want to burn another tablet to do this usually on the espit this is a one tablet deal and i can usually have a cup of coffee like this so i kind of forgotten about that about this uh, this uh, French army stove so we will keep monitoring and I'll bring you back when it's it's getting real close right there see if I can zoom in right there you can see how it's starting to go and that's what we're looking for right there I don't I'll put the lid back on. Get my glove here ready. Because it might boil over. This is exactly what we're looking for. That slow, slow boil. And it starts to incorporate all the grains. The grounds, I mean. The grounds into the uh, coffee. See if I can get a little better shot here. Here we go. Now it's starting to get into a kind of a rapid boil, so I need to kind of pick it up off of there. Just needs to do this little roll and boil for about a minute. And then we'll take it off and put the lid on, let the ground settle. Oh, that's perfect right there. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want right there. 
we're gonna let this do this for about a few more seconds and then I'm gonna take it off the fire and, and put the lid on it and let it settle all right it's been sitting for I don't know a couple minutes and there's the rest left of the SBIT tablet I blew that out and I'll use that for starting a fire or something let's take a look in here you notice that most of the grounds have disappeared there's a little bit remnant right there they have been incorporated into the coffee so let's let's get this here this is the money shot right here look at that now that's that's coffee there that is full flavored it's got all the oils in it it's got the, the grounds in the bottom so the trick now is is to make sure you don't make sure you don't drink the last little sip there could be some grounds in there but most of the grounds have settled down to the bottom I don't use eggshells salt none of those other things or cold water to force it down this is just the way I do it so my first cup of coffee this morning so I hope you enjoyed my little video here and uh, if you have any questions I'll try to answer you I've been pretty busy here lately as a teacher so I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this cup of coffee maybe go get a chair and we'll sit here right here on the driveway and do this thanks for watching my videos and we'll catch you next time hopefully See ya.